a scout today and living in the USA, the land of the free. They've taken me on quite a ride and through the years I realize the man I came to be. Summer camp and evening fires, singing songs and counting stars, the bridges that we learned to cross to keep us safe from the river's force. And I just wanna stay. Hi, I'm Timmy King. Welcome to the Scout Show. We are out on the pond here at Scout Camp. As you can see, we have a giant slingshot set up here. Guys, keep going. Do the big ones. So we are building Klondike Derby sleds. It's the next station at the Olympics. Good job. I gotta fit the skis and bolts into the sled. I see long bolts still put together. Why don't you just in there? Are gonna go on this thing. The long bolts are gonna go for the skis, and you go just like this. Take them apart. Take the washer off. Stick the bolt. You hit. Excellent. And you stick the bolt right up through the top. Put the washer on the top. Put the wing nut on the top. Tighten down. You got the skis on. Do the exact same thing with these bolts. Take them apart. Take the washer off. Stick them through. Put this on the other side and put the nut on the front. Right, you stick it through the hole on the ski. Okay. I got it. Okay, okay, so I know how to do it. Oh my god. Okay, guys. It'll push it in that Oh, right. Run! 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 That's how you do it. The Boy Scouts are building and testing Klondike sleds. So we're on the Boy Scouts side now at the Klondike Derby. The kids build these toboggan-like sleds and go to various stations to earn merit badges and other achievements. Cool. Is this your first time doing the Klondike? Uh, no, second. I've been three times. Three times? Cool. Is, our entire troop second. Second time. Awesome. The whole, yeah, the whole troop's been the three. Three times? Ooh, yeah. USA! <laughs> Did you have snow last year? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the year before that we didn't. Yeah, I remember that January. There was, there was no snow in January. That I remember that season. What troop are you guys? First of all, out of where? Nice. I know you guys. Dan, Mr. Flynn. Is he around today? Yeah. In the kitchen. So, you guys built this? No. 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 You borrowed it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's cool. How's it going? Good. You know, I noticed some of these out here today have wheels, and yours does not have wheels. You're going old fashioned. Yeah. That's good. So, what stations have you been to already? Uh, first five. First stations. So, you got signals, flags, and flashlight. Where are you guys going? So okay, here's your cards. Signal. Okay, pick one. No, no, no. I can't talk. This one's odd man out. All right. And they're signaling this crew. All right, and don't show them the message. Over here. All right, off you go. Okay. So they got to carry this. Yep. 
Interesting. It's, uh, high quality has to involve lashings, knots. They have their four stays. So, so Minimum 50 feet across a uh, rocky, warm area. I hope you guys ate your Wheaties. <laughs> Alright guys, kind of put it over by your shoulder. A little bit higher if you can, a little bit Go down, go down. I really can. Hey, here we go. Stop. Set it down. Guys, is it okay to video you guys for the scout show? You ready, guys? One, two, three. Oh, careful. Set it down. Start again. All right, one, two, three. There we go. Finish strong. We can get it. A little bit higher, guys. That would be awesome. There we go. So they gotta move these sleds 50 feet. Not an easy thing. Okay. How much is? Set it down, guys. Let me take a look at your lashings, please. Back off just a bit. How much does this weigh? This is a pretty heavy one. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty heavy sled. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a couple hundred pounds of sled. Couple hundred. Nice that's job. Gear on there. Good lashings. What hey, troop are you with? What troop are you with, guys? 273, Dudley Mass. Nice. Good job. So the scout show. Guys, if you think it's ready, you're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead. Make sure the saves are even sides, guys. Are you ready? Give me one second. I got you. Nice and slowly. One, two, three, go. Even, even. Capture the flag station at the Cub Scout Winter Olympics 2014. <laughs> These are the secret, well, secret heroes of the Klondike Derby and the Cub Scout Winter Olympics. And they are cooking up 
It looks like some serious grilled cheese action. Scout cheese. Okay. You're going to serve almost 200 boys today. That's just Cub Scouts, not including their parents. <laughs> Good point. thing to fly up in the air. Nice catch. Rich? Why, why do you think she's rich? Because she's wearing nice clothes? So, so couldn't somebody wear nice clothes for a day, but then have all rags the whole rest of the time? Because they only have one nice set of clothes that they wear to church or something. Okay, so I guess somebody could look rich. All right, what do you what do you think she does for work? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, you gonna hook me on, buddy? Oh. Ultimate slingshot. Oh, we got to practice safe range. I didn't see you there. That's all right. That way a little bit. You got it. Get off the, a little more, a little more, a little more. Move you off the range. You got to get plenty of rope. Ah. Get Judging him, so he just wore the same thing every day. Nobody judged him by what he wore. But the the real answer is, he didn't want to have to think about what he was going to wear every day. He didn't want to have to make a decision. He just wore the same thing every day, and it didn't take away from making other decisions. Okay. So what else could you say about him? Nice guy. You think he's a nice guy? You'd hang out with him just based on the way he looks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, who is it? Albert Einstein. Okay. Smart guy. Okay, smart guy. You know, he could not read until he was nine years old. Who here is not nine years old yet? I am nine. Okay, can you, re can you, can you read? Okay. okay, you're seven and you can read. He couldn't read until he was nine, but he's a genius. Okay? How do you define treasure? We define it as the Mohegan Council's Boy Scout Resident Camp in Rutland, Massachusetts, a 1,600-acre facility founded in 1925. Treasure Valley offers dozens of modernized campsites, rifle, shotgun, and archery ranges, massive waterfront and swimming pond, cope course, and craft and skill development areas. So let's take a tour together inside the reservation. Wait a minute, Scouts. All campers must first check in at headquarters with our veteran resident camp director. Our program, what makes us special? We offer a program that's off the hook. We go from the morning to the afternoon to the evening. We have something for everybody. Their whole entire premise of Treasure Valley is you cannot possibly get bored and 
and there's something for you to come back for. We're looking to do an older boy outposting program in the future. Uh, we have an equal program that's offered every single week here. Younger boys, we have an ESI program for Amsey Island Adventure. It is amazing. It is rated one of the best in the entire region from National Camping School BSA. What makes us special? Our staff. With bicycling heavily endorsed at camp, let's start by riding to Browning Pond in the car waterfront area. Aquatics is a hit at any camp, especially Treasure Valley. The waterfront staff members are not only trained lifeguards, they are instructors of kayaking, swimming, small boat sailing, canoeing, rowing, and life-saving merit badges, along with snorkeling BSA, mile swim, and BSA lifeguard. A scout can enjoy free swim time with his friends, or just take out a boat, kayak, canoe, sailboat, or rowboat with his buddy and enjoy the tranquility of our private and clean 89-acre Browning Pond. Just up the road from Aquatics is shooting sports. A young scout may pick up a 22 caliber rifle, 12-gauge shotgun, bow, tomahawk, or bowie knife for the first time, or a bow and shoot to earn proficiency or just to learn a new skill. Safety is of the utmost importance and proper protocol is always followed to teach the respect required for our camps to operate at the pinnacle of safety. Archery, rifle, and shotgun merit badges are offered through shooting sports. Open time is offered for a scout just to try it out without the stringencies of merit badge requirements or to shoot more to practice for qualification for the badge. COPE stands for Challenging Outdoor Personal Experience. A young man must be 13 years old to partake in this exciting opportunity at our camp. COPE offers the challenge of teamwork through initiative games, low course events, and ultimately high rope course events throughout the entire week. The group of a maximum of 12 scouts who enter as strangers form a true team capable of keeping each other safe 40 feet in the air and jumping off one of the fastest zip lines in the country. Adult leaders may join the group if the youth spot is not taken. It is one of the most amazing bonding experiences anyone can partake in. Ecology and Conservation Program Area is a very unique place that issues 18 merit badge programs ranging from environmental science and chemistry to pulp and paper and insect study. The Econ Building houses a variety of wildlife such as rats, snakes, fish and frogs and our Econ Director is even fond of beekeeping and brings in an active hive system. We will be installing a 20,000 panel solar array in the very near future. Scoutcraft is notorious for being the backbone of any scout camp. And Treasure Valley is proud to offer non-merit badge programs such as Toten Chip, Fireman Chip, Paul Bunyan Award, and Not Sure. Scouts can work on lashing, not time techniques through Pioneer Merit Badge, or just walk in and learn to make useful tools and items from rope and staffs. Wilderness Survival Merit Badge is also offered, and scouts can learn to make natural shelters, fire in all conditions, and understand how to function in an emergency survival situation. A fire is always burning in the scout craft area where a boy can become more proficient on scouting and outdoor skills. And of course, basic outdoor badges such as hiking through orienteering can be earned. Field sports area is a great place to simply have some fun while playing basketball, wiffle ball, disc golf on our nine hole course, kickball, volleyball, or even quidditch. Personal fitness, sports, and athletics merit badges can be earned through this area. Prerequisites are required to complete these badges, but are a great option for the scout who is looking for extra badges or even to begin his eagle required personal fitness badge. Dodgeball is a popular evening event, as is the Disc Golf Championship. Even our McGee Day Games on Tuesday evening are geared for patrols who do not disappoint. Fun is to be had while working as a team and through learning and sportsmanship, that's always the theme here. Handicraft is a place that's always buzzing with sawing, wood carving, hammering. Scouts can work on leatherworking, basketry, woodworking, wood carving, art, painting, metalworking, and even theater merit badge. Open handicraft in the evening is available for a scout to come in and work on his projects, or to maybe create something out of his own choosing outside of merit badge work. 
All of this hard work is making us very, very hungry. And Treasure Valley offers both a large circus-sized tent outdoor dining facility, as well as an indoor timber-framed lodge. We hire an outside catering company to work the meals three times a day, though provisional camping is offered in some select campsites for interested troops. But it's always great food and always great fun during our meal programs. Our campsites themselves are continually updated and improved with clean, protective canvas tents, strong, comfortable cots, and covered activity and gathering areas. Our campsites can't be matched in any other New England scout camp for both their amenities and distinct isolated locations. Parents would be pleased to know all of our sites have running water and fresh, clean sinks and new bathroom facilities. Don't just take our word for it. Hello, my name is Eric Madison. I'm an assistant scoutmaster of Troop 776 out of Munson, Massachusetts, um, Western Massachusetts Council. And I'm here this week at Treasure Valley. Um, we brought 22 scouts with us, five adult leaders, and it's absolutely beautiful here. Uh, my first time here at camp, the troop's second year here, and it looks like we're gonna be back a third year. Um, overall, the camp has many different activities, Great program for leadership, uh, merit badges, Eagle Scout Week, as well, well as a variety of other um, other services. Most importantly, though, are the staff members, uh, the counselors, the CIT members, uh, the adult staffs. They will go out of your way and do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face and your boys' faces and make this a memorable experience. Um, I know that we are we been going to Moses Camp um, in Western Massachusetts and we came here last year because unfortunately that camp was shut down temporarily. Uh, we were being directed elsewhere by the district. We found that this is only 45 minutes away from our location and it looks like we're here to stay. So I just want to say thank you to um, Treasure Valley staff and to the Scout Reservation in general. Whether you are a veteran of Treasure Valley or a first timer, we keep finding treasure at our scout camp and we'd love for you to discover this blessed land's wealth of fun and opportunity. Please join us in the summer of 2013. Apple baking station. Put the apple in the tin foil. And if you want, hunk of butter. 
Just an apple. Yes, I just want an apple. Some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Is that cookie dough? Are we gonna make cinnamon apples? That's what it is. Cinnamon. We're gonna be all nice and warm and chewy. There you go. Can I wrap it? Yeah. Oh, you want to wrap it really tight? Well, yeah. I, I got it. I'm going to have you do it all the way around. Thank you. Right. Are there any ready over there? Yeah. Um, I think you have to do it over here. Um, Where's a good place to put them? Um, the one right there. Can I keep an eye on mine? Yeah, go find. Where's a good place to put them? No place right there. Yet. Fire went out? Yeah. No, I see fire right there. Yeah, very small, though. How long do they got to stay in the fire? About 15 minutes. 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes? 10 to 15? 10 minutes if it's a good fire. 15 if it's not so good. Just put them right there. Out today and living in the USA, the land of the free. The Boy Scout pledge gave to me a vision to be much more than I thought I could see. Now every day I strive to be an example in my community. Helping others in times of need is living out the Boy Scout creed. And I just want to say I'm proud to be a scout today With values I'll bring on the way And pass along someday Those camp bots, adventures, all the good times Repelling, sailing, boy what a ride That's what I'll say A scout is what I am today With character I'll lead one day God learns how to give, it's the proper way for one to live And I just wanna say I'm proud to be a scout today The Boy Scouts of the USA We stand tall and strong And as I grow into a man The Boy Scouts help me understand It's important to belong for the friends I've made while on this trail Will last a lifetime and prevail And when I'm grown and gone someday Scouting values will lead my way And I just wanna say I'm proud to be a scout today And I love my country, the U.S. of A I'm proud to be a scout today And I love my country, the U.S. Survey.